When you hear karate or ninja, are you thinking this or turtles? We're here tonight at Brendan watching Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, or just Ninja Turtles, in a nutshell, at half shell. The movie was okay. It wasn't like, oh my god, I have to go see it, but apparently it is like a family movie because our theater was packed top to bottom. I don't think there were hardly any empty seats. It's not one I have to rush out and see, but I'm kind of glad I did see it because when Shredder is on screen, thromping on things, like you really feel that. It's like, oh my god, that's pretty good. Take away all the human stuff, not necessary. Everything with the turtles themselves, the turtles, Shredder, it was enjoyable, I liked it. All that was great, the banter was awesome. Biggest complaint, a little more character development with the turtles. The movie I think is made for new gen. Nobody's gonna know why Raphael is always angry, why Leo has issues with him, why Mikey thinks everything's a big joke, or why Donatello is like smart. They didn't really embellish that. Kids walk away with the purple one's smart, the red one's angry, the blue one's the leader, and the orange one's a goof. But us that know the turtles with the shows and the movies, we know why they are the way that they are. A lot of homage is paid to that. There's little references made here and there. Uh, Splinter, pretty BA. I'm not gonna lie, they didn't make him like a frail rat. He's like jacking stuff up. It's a little disappointing the Foot Clan's not ninjas, they're like mercenaries. I guess you're updating it, so you have to do that, but it kind of defeats the purpose of it being ninja. All in all, though, decent movie, not bad. CG's good. When the turtles are on screen, amazing. But in a reality, I gotta give it a 7 out of 10. It's average. See it if you want. If you don't want to, that's cool. But if you go see it, take the kids, take the fam. Something to do. Weekend. Ninja Turtles, want to know, what'd you think? I thought Ninja Turtles was dope. Megan Fox, Boo, Will Arnett, what? All the other, the turtles were dope. The end. Dude, you know what? You know, Shredder wasn't bad. He was he was a bit of a badass, which is totally what you'd expect, you know, from somebody who knows Kung Fu. But other than that, he was consistent badass throughout the whole, the whole thing. Splinter, not bad. Not bad, Splinter. It was awesome. The action was there. The banter was there. Mikey, all damn day. Leonardo's my favorite, but Mikey, dude, he <laughs> stole the show. Good job, Anya. I like the turtle. I love the aspect of him in every way, but the whole plot sucked. I did not like the movie in any way how it was, but when there was turtles involved in the screen, it was awesome. I loved it in every way of that. If you just cut out all the other crap, it's probably one of the best movies ever to have the turtles in it. There was no musical crap going on, uh, turtles in a half shell. Plot sucked. Let me down. Can well acted characters make up for a crappy movie? <laughs> No. Turtles banter was great. I'll even forgive Shredder. He wasn't done well, but they could have done a lot worse. <laughs> Ultimately, Claude is just so dumb. I enjoyed it. I've never I've never followed them, you know, when they were like cartoons. Megan Fox really bugged the out of me though. <laughs> Every scene she was in, it was like, please save me. <laughs> scared right now. And her lipstick was always perfect. No, no, I mean overall it was it was good. I feel this movie had two sides to it. I think that when the turtles are on screen and they're doing their bantering and they're doing the humor, it is amazing. They personified those characters perfectly. But then the plot happened. <laughs> and the plot, yeah, it smells pretty bad. That was a really badly written script. I feel that they spent all their time focusing on the turtles themselves and making sure that they were believable to the old characters and they were fun and they were funny. And then they forgot that there actually has to be a point for them to be doing anything in New York, that just falls apart. It was definitely an action ride. I, I, I did not expect it to be that action packed, uh, that quirky. The Turtles were as smart LED as they were in the 90s. It had comedy, it had action, everything that I love in a movie. I definitely love how they use their weapons. I like the original ones where they like never used them. Yes, <laughs> yes. They were just on them. Yes. <laughs> On a scale of 1 to 10, I'm going to go ahead and give this an 8. Not because the storyline was phenomenal, because it wasn't. Not because the, the villains were memorable, because they weren't. It's because the Ninja Turtles were awesome. I'm going to give the movie a, a 6. Usually I do higher, but yeah. I'm going to give it a 6. I don't even want to do double ratings. Like, it's just the turtles get like an 8. But the rest of the movie is just so stupid. It's like a 4. It's like awful. Oh, I give it a 3. Oh, well, that's like your yeah, lowest that's... one. Oh, I know. This is a public service announcement. <laughs> Stop supporting Michael Bay movies. He consistently makes the worst movies that rape people's childhoods, and you make them blockbusters. A nine. Anybody, anybody can watch it. A kid, an adult, and they'll, they'll enjoy it either way. I give it a seven and a half. And the reason I give it a seven and a half is because I really did enjoy every single moment the turtles were on screen. But eyes hit in the back of my head. I was rolling my eyes so badly on the plot points. They were really, really bad. Some decisions they made was winner. I know it's a split decision in this group. I thought they were really bad. I would say an eight. It could have been better. It could have been more well balanced with the action. Every time the turtles were on screen, I was just like, yes, yes. And then 
everybody else was on the screen, I was just like, no, no! Yes, yes. <laughs> where, where, where are the turtles? Where, where are they coming? <laughs> if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so already because that would be awesome and we would appreciate that. Go ahead and like this video, favorite it, share it, spread the word. And down below in the comment section, who is your favorite Ninja Turtle? Rather it be Leonardo, Raphael, Michelangelo, Donatello, or go and put Splinter or Shredder. Why not? But who's your favorite Ninja Turtle? And as always, we're letting you know before you go at Brennan Theaters. So we're here tonight at Brennan Theaters watching Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Turtles. Watch Turtles. Everyone, oh my god, Mary Fox is April O'Neil. No one cares about April O'Neil. You're here to see the <laughs> turtles. <laughs> I don't care. The turtles. That's why they're here. <laughs> the bull. <laughs> Mine is better. The children. I like nerdy guys. <laughs> Stop! Why is it that everybody else gets to like fill you up on camera, but I don't? That's <laughs> nipple. <laughs> well, who's your favorite turtle? <clears throat> Whoopi Goldberg. <laughs> <laughs> Barnes. <laughs>